Are you an executive who has reached the ceiling in your current job, who has little time to dedicate to your career transition and need quick and practical advice? This is Happy Monday Executives, empowering executives in career transition, a weekly podcast providing you focused, actionable advice, insights, and powerful tips. With your career strategist guru, Isabelita Castillo. Hello, hello. Welcome to one more episode of Happy Monday Executives, empowering executives in career transition. I'm your host, Isabelita Castillo, and I'm here today to help you identify what is your superpower. So, believe it or not, there are a lot of executives out there, but because they are so successful, well-established, they have done so many things throughout their career that they reach a stage where they are kind of, you know what, and now what? What do I really want to do? I can do a million things, but what do I really want to do? How do I differentiate myself from the competition? So what is your superpower? This is the question. When you have a question, you have an answer, the universe will talk to you. So I start by identifying today, you receive this letter. Let's call it the letter from God. They received the letter from God saying, you are the lucky winner of the year or of the century. And guess what, dear gentleman, dear lady, you no longer need to work in your life. You, everything will be granted to you from food, from trips, from entertainment, from whatever, name it. Everything is free for you. However, dear soul, you will need to work full time. It doesn't matter what you do. There is no more salary requirement for you, but you need to be a full time, dedicated employee or contributor or service provider. What would you do? What would you choose? It can be anything because everything is granted to you. So if I say, wow, that's a great question. So I started by thinking about, well, if you're giving today this opportunity, you don't have any commitments, nothing is spending, everything is great, wonderful. Life is like Alice in the Wonderland. So what would you actually do to occupy you throughout the day to keep that deal, the trade off with God? So think about your hobbies. Think about the things that you really derive pleasure from doing. Think about everything that can be added value. And ultimately think about from the heart, what are the things that you really get lost doing when you're doing it? Tasks, functions, is it talking to people about certain things? Is it about doing some things manually? Is it about, you know, uh, thinking, strategizing, putting so many ideas out there? What would that be? And once you have this insight, it doesn't mean you're going to have everything at once. It might be a process that every day you might need one hour of your day. I would suggest for one week, have one hour or 45 minutes. First thing in the morning after your breakfast, after your gym or just before, if you like, you say, OK, what are those things? And start listening. It doesn't matter how silly it could be. It could be playing ping pong. I don't care whatever makes you feel joy and pleasure and you'd say, wow, I could easily do this. And then think, now that I know what brings me joy and pleasure, why? How does that benefit others? How does that benefit my community? Why does that make me feel good? Because when you go there, it's like removing another layer of the onion. It's like one more, one more, one more. It's literally the know thyself. And when you realize the reason behind it, you say, wow, that feels really good. And when this feels really good, there is no fear, there is only love, there is only joy. This is your mission. This is what you're here to do. And now that you found out, all you gotta do is literally list it, visualize and start following the insights you receive. The insights could be call a friend. It could be make a trip to Maldives. It could be, you know what? go to that uh, network event, the trade show that's happening next week tonight. 
follow the instinct because those are the breadcrumbs that universe will give you to say now that you know what makes you feel joyful now that you probably found out what is very suspicious to be like your mission because it brings so much joy and fulfillment and it does contribute positively and you have no fear whatsoever about it then you're going to start getting those little breadcrumbs and the breadcrumbs are like driving in a road and then you have this hundred meters that you can see in front of you but it's a bit foggy it's dark at night it's okay keep going it's just because you can't see it but it's right there and then the next hundred meters you're going to find out a little bit more you're going to get more insights when you least expect you bump in front of that dream job or you get invited to actually work with somebody and the rest is history so guys I want to ask you now, we start listening today, what is your superpower? Let me know in the comments, reach out if you want to know more about this topic and be that life creator, bend this matrix and create the reality you wish to see in your life. Until next time, stay blessed. Remember to subscribe to my podcast across your favorite channels and also to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your contribution as well. I'll see you next time. Never miss an episode. Never miss an opportunity. Follow Happy Monday Executives with Isabelita Castillo from any of your favorite podcast platforms. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you next time. Until then, stay blessed.